What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are checking out this awesome Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. This is Tibor's car and Tibor is the owner of a company called High End Nutrition. He is a bodybuilder himself and this is basically his special occasion delivery van. I'll get to that a little bit later on. Uh, it has been tuned as well, stage one, and we've got a couple other cool mods. So today I'm going to show you around it. I'm going to show you why this is a delivery van, and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. But first, let me take a moment to thank today's sponsor, because if you want to start investing in cryptocurrency in 2022 make sure you do it right because most people just buy a crypto let it sit in an account and hope that it will go up but Acru is changing that they've launched a new app to help people join the world of crypto and start earning up to 12 percent interest on their cryptocurrency Acru are not only making it easy to own crypto but they're giving everyone 12 percent interest for holding it on the Acru platform Acru wants everyone to be able to access the great returns and interest earnings available from cryptocurrency. I've bought crypto before, but I didn't realize until now that I could have been earning interest on that crypto while holding it. So how does it work? Through the app or website, you convert money into your chosen crypto asset. You earn up to 12% on US dollar tracked crypto assets and up to 7% on Bitcoin and Ethereum. This then gets paid instantly into your account. You can even track your interest earned to the second on the dashboard. You get 10 USDT just for registering to show you how it works. And so you can see your interest accruing by the second. You choose how much to start with, with a minimum deposit of 100 euros. What's more, Acru offers bank grade security and your investment is fully insured for up to $30 million in case of theft or hacking. Remember, you need to understand the level of risk when investing in crypto and only look at this as part of a balanced portfolio. To start investing and earning up to 12% interest, visit Acru.io or download the app in the App Store or the Google Play Store. Enjoy the video. So let's take a look at the spec. This is the color, of course, for the Alfa Romeos. This is the color that Tibor wanted. He couldn't find a facelift Selvio Q in this color, so he bought the pre-facelift. But don't worry, the facelift is not that big. There, there were minor changes in the interior and a couple of other things, but really nothing uh, to be afraid of. So pre-facelift, absolutely fine. And then we've got a couple of very cool mods at the front. We've got these inserts or these additions on the front bumper, down low as well little splitter and this grill part even the logo surround is all in carbon fiber made by the same company that does the carbon fiber for Alfa Romeo so uh, it looks really cool it looks good and being in Belgium he can of course have a vanity plate high-end for high-end nutrition Nice little bonnet fence. Um, we've made a review of the Stelvio Q in the past. Click in the top right corner if you want to check that out. This is about this specific one. I'm not going to go in depth too much about uh, the development of the car and stuff like that. All right, wheels, 20 inch. Absolutely gorgeous wheels. One of the best wheels out there. And I mean, this, this circular design with that aggression in there, that the sharp edges, makes it look super cool. And we've got high-end nutrition tire stickers as well. Behind that, we've got the regular steel brakes with red calipers. As you can see, they're not the biggest brakes and you can get this car with carbon ceramics. If you do a lot of Autobahn stuff, I would definitely recommend going for the ceramics because the steel brakes seem to suffer a bit from the weight and speed of this thing. Especially since it has been tuned, it's even quicker. Little carbon side skirt over there. A very cool carbon fiber spoiler here. That looks awesome. And then at the rear, we've got the stock exhaust, which is loud enough. It is super loud. And then I'll show you guys why this is a delivery van. That's why. So Tibor uses this car like this. In Belgium, you don't have to pay your road taxes if you have a car like this. Light cargo is the best, is the literal translation of what it's called in Belgium. So he can just put a lot of boxes in here and deliver it to one of their top distributors. And it just 
it's just a marketing tool in that way because how cool is it if you deliver all your products in this car instead of a, a boring old caddy or transporter right now the, the only problem is that your stuff will go everywhere like this so in a moment of sheer brilliance i have suspended our case from these little hooks i mean it looks like it's in some sort of dirty swing or maybe it's being tortured by the cia but anyway uh, at least this way it stays put all right So, the engine, of course, the 2.9 liter V6 bi turbo with roots at Ferrari. So, in the beginning, Ferrari actually seemed to kind of deny this, but this obviously has its roots at Ferrari. The F154 engine, the 90 degree V8, uh, it's basically this with two cylinders more. That's basically uh, the case stock 510 horsepower 650 newton meters of torque this has a stage one tune from squadra tuning and it now delivers 560 horsepower and 766 newton meters of torque so that is quite a nice jump uh, we've got a zf8 speed as you probably know which has been tweaked and just configured to perfection Okay, okay, okay. And on the interior, we've got a very cool mod, if you ask me. So we've got carbon fiber on the dash and on the doors and stuff, but this being a pre-facelift, this used to be ugly plastic. And the facelift has carbon fiber here. It also has a better gear lever, the facelift, with leather and stuff. This is just a bit cheap, but Tibor did a great thing by changing this to carbon fiber. It, it does really make a difference because it's quite a big thing. And it just makes it feel much more special. So good job on that. We've got the regular sports seats, uh, which I think is the better option. You can also go for the full bucket seats in carbon, but they are not very comfy. Starting it up. So the DNA system right here, driving modes, dynamic, normal, all weather or whatever. And then you've got race, valves open. Neutral. Oh, it, it does sound really good, this car. Okay, so um, manual mode for the gearbox, race mode. I think this is the right setting. Let's take it for a little drive. Another mod I forgot about is the fact that this car also has Eibach lowering springs. So it's a bit lower than usual. Uh, Tibor felt like it could use a lowering, which I can understand seeing how this is basically the most sporty SUV you can buy. Um, yeah, I can, I can understand that you want it to sit a bit lower. Also, he felt like it was pretty comfy still the car and he thought that the Eibach stuff wouldn't hurt his comfort. I have heard from people uh, who've driven this car that they felt like the suspension was a bit too firm. But I have to say that in race mode on this road it is pretty doable. It is firm, it is very firm but not too much if you if you are going for race mode and the most aggressive setting this is fine if you're on the highway then obviously you select a different mode oh but that that gearbox is so good the eight speed with the oh with the little crackle on the upshift the gearbox feels so amazing the shifts are quick we've got the pedals that are mounted on the steering column instead of the steering wheel, which I always really like. But this is basically the, 
the, the same 8-speed ZF gearbox that everyone uses, but they have set this to perfection. It is so aggressive. And of course we know this from the Giulia, but the fact that they did this in the Stelvio SUV as well is absolutely awesome. Now, the stock car is not a slow car, uh, not at all, but with this tune, I mean, it is really quick and it feels like hyped up and ready to go and sometimes the gearbox gets kind of caught out by, by, by the sheer delivery of the power and you get this really awesome little rev limiter and oh, the sounds this thing produces are just magnificent and they feel, they feel real. I, I'm sure that they're not. I'm sure that they're all engineered in there to make me feel like I'm driving an emotional Italian sports car. But I like it. That is loud. It's also loud. It's such a loud car. This is a stock exhaust. Oh man, this definitely is one of the best SUVs out there. I also think that even in the in the most stiff setting, oh, even in the most stiff setting, it's still doable. I'm I'm not being shaken around like a martini, like you're in the BMW X3 M competition. I think this is actually better. And if you put it in mid mode. It's perfectly fine. That's actually the one we're going to use for the Ultiman as well. But it is a freaking... Oh man, it's a beast this. It really is. Oh, all right, so let's take it to the Ultiman where we can explore the power a bit better. I'm going to go for drive for the gearbox and floor it. Nice little crackle on the upshift. And then we discover that the car has a little problem keeping its roof closed at high speed. So I've done like 275 in the Ultima POV and it seemed like it was fine, but it was getting louder and louder. So yeah, uh, a bit of alpha build quality for you there. Everything feels pretty solid otherwise, but this is not really acceptable, I would say. So It is quite loud. That's 270. Now, the stock car is supposed to do 283, I think, top speed. This, with this tune, I'm sure will be able to get close to 300, at least on the speedo. But I'm not sure I would want to push it that far with this much wind noise from the roof. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, of course, we also measured the 100 to 200 performance. We measured an 8.79 second run, which is pretty damn quick. It's quicker than a BMW X6M. It's quicker than a Porsche Cayenne Turbo SE Hybrid. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing it, it has the claimed performance. It does have the claimed power. And I am actually pretty sure that you can do it even faster because I was getting faster and faster with every run. Uh, because I was exploring like the, the, 
most ideal refs to shift and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm sure it can do a little bit quicker than that, but still, 8.8 .8 is really not bad. That is a quick car. Oh, but that that gearbox, honestly, I think that's the thing that stays with me every time I drive a Julia Q or a Stelvio Q is that gearbox is just epic. And with this tune. It, it definitely feels more aggressive, more, you know, hyped up. It, it feels like it, it definitely had one of Tibor's pre-workout shakes. Oh, that is nice. Oh, and it's definitely the best handling SUV you can buy right now. I, I, I really do think so. It feels so direct. The steering is super, the, the wreck is super quick. And then with these Eibach lowering springs, it feels even more tight down. Oh, that is nice. Tibor, you've got an awesome, awesome car. Thank you so much for taking it to us. Really enjoyed driving it. I hope you'll enjoy this car for a long time and your customers as well with all the crap you can throw in the back here. To you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye.